Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm going to talk about future forms in English, of course. We have to use future forms in decisions with will. For example, I'm going to run in the mountain Puch Campana and the other person or my friend says, okay, I'll come for a run with you. With plans, with plans, we have to use be going to. For example, I'm having dinner with my family on Saturday. This is an arrangement or a plan. But in this case, you fix it the place, the people, the timetable, and so on. And in this case, the plan is, for example, I'm, going, I'm not going to keep this jumper. I'm not going to keep this jumper, it's not a plan. So you can, you can use it, be going to, in prediction as well. For example, that little boy is cycling too fast. So you can say, he's going to fall off. Or he will fall off with will. It's, it's like a decision, but with a prediction. Is de depending on the situation. With offers, will. I'll help you if you want. If you don't want, I can't help you. I won't help you if you don't want. If you don't want, I won't help you. It's clear. Promises with will. Yes. I, I will be in here if you need me. If you need me, I will be in here, of course. Or, as a suggestion, with shall. Shall we go swimming on Saturday? Shall we go swimming on Saturday? This is a suggest suggestion or predictions I told you before. So, that's all the things I want to say to you about future forms in English. Thank you very much and see you next day. Goodbye!